Prove to me God is real. Prove it. Look at those Illuminati. They're Satan worshippers. Okay. Now to kick your butt and teach you something you never thought about. First thing. Stop caring about what the Illuminati has to do. Worry about your own self first because you are more satanic than they are. Secondly, prove to you God is real? Easily done. Look at feminism today. God tells you in the Bible straight out not to be a homosexual. Do not allow abortion. Do not allow female leadership. And that is exactly what you are seeing today. How did he predict that so many thousands of years ago? Tell me. Tell me. Instead of me telling you, you tell me how he predicted that thousands of years ago. Tell me. I'm tired of the idiots out there. 2 Thessalonians 2.11 states very clearly, For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion, so that they will believe the lie. 2 Thessalonians 2.11 For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion, so that they will believe the lie. What is the lie? The lie is Satan's end goal. Now, you have to understand there are two parties on this world frightened. There's Satan fighting for his new world order, which is completely run by Satan. That is Satan's end goal. And then there is God's end goal, which will be also the day of judgment. But God tells you very clearly what to take part in and what not to take part in. And if you are taking part in homosexuality, if you condone abortion, if you condone female leadership such as feminism, then you are a bloody Satanist. You are more Satanic than the Illuminati and the feminists, all of them combined. Because you are not only participating in the sin, but you are educating your young children that it's okay to be that way. If you teach people evolution, then you are a Satanist. And God makes this very clear to everybody. You cannot serve two masters. You can only serve one. If you teach evolution, if you agree on feminism, if you agree about abortion, if you agree on homosexuality, then you are going down Satan's path and he is your master. And to prove that he is your master, he is on the back of your one dollar bill today. He's on the back of there. That eye of Horus that's on top of that little fucking pyramid, that is Satan's eyeball looking upon you. And your whole nation is going to hell. You are riddled with war, with crises, with famine, with plagues of like earthquakes and tornadoes. You are absolutely plagued by it. Last three years, you've had polar vortexes. Right now, Boston is covered in snow. Ohio is covered in snow. How many more freaking symbols do you need to realize that you guys have been betraying God and that you are stabbing him in the back and he is trying to teach you right now with one of his most beautiful blessings, snow, a snow. He's using snow in abundance to teach you all a lesson because he still cares about you. John F. Kennedy, 1960 was the last president of America who actually loved God, who actually protected the system. Look at the women in the 1950s, dressed in sunflower dresses, all happy, all burky, men going to work, all happy, all burky, family life being perfectly, perfectly established, safe, and because everybody was safe and happy back in the 50s. Then comes the 60s, John F. Kennedy shot in the head, feminism comes in, prayers took it out of school. Do you all see the fucking things? I showed you a video yesterday which clearly showed you how after 1960, everything went downhill. John F. Kennedy is shot, the globalists step in and start ruling the country, taking over, hijack the nation, start bringing in sin, here comes abortion, here comes sexual revolution, here comes Ed the feminist, here comes some female leadership, here comes homosexuality, it's all accepted, it's all allowed, instead of fighting it, you all start saying, oh, we're, you're racist, you're racist if you don't like homosexuals, you're racist, that's how they got the Christians to convert. But God tells you very straight out, if you convert, then you are on Satan's side. Very simple, folks. If you do not stand by God's word, if you do not obey God, then you are disobeying him. Then you are part of Satan's club, part of Satan's team. And you have allowed Satan to take over your nation. John F. Kennedy didn't leave office and have a new president voted in. He was shot in the fucking head. And Lyndon Johnson stepped up. 
The globalists stepped up. The new world order stepped up. So they killed goodness. They shot goodness in the head and brought an evil. And instead of just saying, hey, fuck this shit. You all took out our president. No. You just allow it to happen. You just allow the country to start going to hell. Bring in divorce. No problem. Bring in abortion. No problem. Bring in the lesbians. No problem. Homosexuals. No problem. Female leadership, no problem. War, plagues, famine, let it all in your country, right? Open the borders wide open, right? Why don't you think about what the fuck you guys have been doing? Because God is sitting there every single day trying to warn you right now to quit it. To turn back to Him. Go back to Him. Go back to Him. You walk here saying, this country is so far gone, we can't save it. It can be saved in two minutes. If every one of you would turn back to God. And the whole country could be saved. ISIS is knocking on your door right now. Saying, I mean, God is basically saying to you all right now, if you do not convert back to me and apologize for abandoning me in the 1960s and stabbing me in the back, I will release ISIS onto your country. And I will make sure that you become a Muslim country. You become an Islamic nation. I will teach you a lesson for betraying me. That is what God is telling you today. That is what he is telling you today. You cannot serve two masters. You can only serve one master. And you should be serving Jesus Christ and God, not Satan and his minions. So what are you going to do, people? Are you going to keep living your fucking delusion or lie? Of evolution is real. Ooh, ooh. We all came from dirt. Are you going to start giving credit to the one that deserves all the credit in the world? Our master, Jehovah. And his son, Jesus Christ. Or are you going to keep living in your fucking delusion? God is punishing you by making you live in this delusion. Do you understand that? He wants you to break out of the delusion. He would love for you to break out of the delusion. But because you have turned your back on him, he is making you live in that delusion. And he hopes that the good people will rise above it. But if you don't, you will sink in it. Even your churches have completely betrayed God. Completely betrayed him. They now work for the government. They no longer serve God. They serve Obama. Wake up to the facts and reality of the world, would you? Pick up your Bible. I challenge you to pick up a Bible and read only two paragraphs. And if you don't like what you read, then you go ahead and close the book. But I can guarantee you everything you've ever heard about the Bible that you have not read yourself is complete fabrication. Your churches lie to you, folks. Your churches lie to you. They lied to you about who Jesus was. They lied to you about who God was. They are filling your head with evolution bullshit. Your country is the most satanic country above the Islamic countries such as Saudi Arabia. Understand this. America is more sadistic and more satanic than Iran is. You have caused more blood and death in this world than almost every country combined. You think Hitler was bad? You think Hitler was bad? Hitler was a fucking puppy dog compared to the United States. I am so furious with Americans. I am an American. I myself am an American. I had to leave my own country because of you guys. Because the way you start thinking of things, the way you think the world works, you do everything in your power to forget about God. You would rather believe in a fucking primordial soup than to believe in a power above you called Jesus Christ and God. How dare you!